Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing, everyone? Well, last week we took a break from the weekly updates to give an instructional how-to video on our Mars Hydro TSL 2000. Fortunately for us, that means a two-week update for both our plants as well as the mid-season drop. So get in here. There's a lot to talk about. Going crazy. At this point, you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs, but YouTube is, well, YouTube when it comes to cannabis. Despite this, we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community. If you did want to support the channel a little more, the best way to do that is through our Patreon. With a private Discord, additional in-depth videos, Patreon exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face to face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind blowing, but we wanted to take some time out to show our appreciation for our newest patrons. So, a big shout out and an official thank you to We love you guys, really. All right, let's get back to it. All right guys, so like we said last week, we took a little break from the usual content to show off some of our equipment. That said, we are back at it this week for another update on the Lucky Charms and Caramel Frappe by THC Tone. And that's not all. In fact, as you may remember, we planted a new season in the middle of this current season now that we knew our newts were a little too strong. So. We planted another caramel frappe, and this time, a cookie dough again, by THC Tone. Things were looking great, but the first thing we have to report on this week was a bit of a tragedy and a warning for other growers. Hang on to your tent doors. We've done this before, but it seems like such a long time ago that you kind of forget that it was ever an issue. Anyways, the tent door was partially zipped up, and we let it go after peeking inside. And unfortunately, the tent door did an odd little maneuver and swung inside the tent. Of course, we saw it happen and immediately went to investigate, but our worst fears were true. It smacked into the baby caramel frappe and ripped her right out of the medium, roots and all. We tried to get her back in the dirt, but the damage was done. She simply wilted. That's okay, because we still have our other plant here, the cookie dough, and she's going strong. She looks very happy with the updated nutrients down, down to four tablespoons of earth dust per gallon of medium from five tablespoons per gallon. Lights are set and the bottom line is that she looks happy. It'll be fun to see what she does with the updates, but for now, she has only needed water up until this point. She'll need some CalMag shortly here, but that'll be next week. As for the Lucky Charms and the Caramel Frappe we originally started with, well, they're doing the best they can. And this is something anyone can learn from our current season. Any amount of stress or stalling can hurt yields in the end when it comes to autoflowers. You don't have the option to just veg it out longer if things weren't ideal. These are just gonna flip on their own, hence the name, autoflowering. In short, you only have a few short weeks, two or three, four if you're really lucky, to veg your plant. If you miss this window or slow growth at this time, what happens? plant doesn't grow. What makes this exponentially worse though is when it happens during veg. Why? Because this is where the plant creates the foundation it'll spend the rest of its life on. If growth is good and powerful and robust, lights are good, newts are just right, and everything is on point, it's going to equate to a larger end yield as you have allowed yourself to grow a larger foundation 
thereby allowing the plant all kinds of room to make bud. And the happier it is through flower, the bigger, denser, and frostier they will wind up being in the end. Say something is wrong though. Newts are too hot, or your lights are too intense. What happens? The plant gets stunted and grows slow, if not stalls, altogether. To tie it all together, if you only have a plant that veges for two and a half weeks, and your heavy newts are jamming up the works, how long does it take a plant to recover and for growth to resume? A week? So you've ultimately just cut away half the time you had to grow your foundation. Half-sized plants and veg certainly equal half-side yields, compared to the plants that were optimally run through veg, or at least significantly less. Either way, this is why it's so important to work your way through the learning process just as the plant grows. Learn germination. Once you have almost 100% right, then move to early veg. And then late veg, and you get the idea. But if things aren't right just starting out, then it's going to give you trouble later. Then you're fighting a defensive battle rather than being on the offense and giving this plant exactly what it needs. This is exactly what we're learning ourselves. We went too hot with the newts. We backed it off. And we're seeing the incredible results of offering a plant exactly what it needs. That's all we're trying to do. Take in one tidbit at a time until the whole grow finally comes together. We're on our way, but it's mistakes like these that are noticed, addressed, and corrected that put us one step closer to that goal. All that said though, this is the end of our footage for this week's update, but make sure you check in over the next few weeks. We should be dropping multiple weekly videos for a little while as we've teamed up with Rosin Evolution, Low Temp Plates, and Terps USA to make a bubble hash, press that hash, and convert some of the rosin we get from that into e-juice for vaping. We're excited, we hope you're excited, and until next time, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.